you probably already know that the actual content of your YouTube videos is one of the most important things that you need to get right in order to get clients from YouTube for your coaching business. But did you know that there are actually three core types of content that you should actually be creating in order to not only get found by the right people, but to also keep them watching? and turn them into clients. Chances are pretty good that you've never heard of these types of content. Today, I'm gonna go over exactly what these types of content are and how to actually use them strategically in your coaching business in order to get the kind of views that actually turn into paying clients from YouTube. Hey, Big Shots, my name is Daniel. and I've grown my coaching YouTube channel from scratch to getting over 280,000 views with less than 3,000 subscribers and turning those views into four leads per day for my coaching business. If that sounds like the kind of YouTube success that you're interested in for your coaching business, join me for a new video every other Tuesday with more tips and strategies for building a YouTube channel that's fueling your coaching business with leads. Now, in case you haven't already figured this out, I'm gonna tell you right now that once viewers actually find you, the actual content of your YouTube videos is the most important thing that will actually determine whether your ideal client will actually keep watching or not. You can have the most amazing titles and thumbnails that get people to actually click, but unless your content immediately hooks them and gives them what they're actually looking for, something of value, they're either going to click away pretty quick or watch the video and never watch another one again. You definitely want people to watch your videos again. So keeping interest is obviously gonna be an important focus of your content. But the other important thing that you actually need to pay attention to with your content strategy is where it's at on the content funnel. And that brings us to the three types of educational content. So here's what I mean by the content funnel. Your potential content for the niche or industry that you specifically specialize in is like a big funnel. This funnel represents both the type of content you're making and the audience that that specific content will actually specifically reach. At the top of the funnel here is the most broad or basic type of content, which will basically reach a much wider audience. Because the audience is wider, it's gonna have more cold leads in it than hot ones. But those types of videos are the ones that will actually help your videos get found by even more people. So at that top level content, you're making videos that are super searchable, which makes it a ton easier to get more views and velocity on your channel. This in turn actually helps more of your content show up in the search results and reach more of the right potential clients. But you're also going to get a lot of viewers that aren't necessarily your ideal clients. These videos are great for getting views and traction on your channel, but your lead pool from them is going to be much colder and less saturated with your ideal clients. So don't expect to get a lot of results from that, but that's okay because you actually need this velocity to reach your ideal clients. So it's not a bad thing. For an example of this, let's say you're a money coach and you're specifically helping successful career professionals get out of debt and reach their financial goals for a lifestyle that they want now and a stress-free retirement later. If you wanted to make this top level type of content, some examples of that for your channel would be a video on easy ways to actually save money or money saving hacks. That's a broad one because there are lots of people out there who actually want to save money so that's something a wider audience than just your ideal clients would actually search about on YouTube. You can also do videos on budgeting tips or what budgeting apps you actually like, which again would be to a wider audience. But the more important thing is your ideal clients will be included in the audience for that video. So that's basically the top level content. Now, if you go to the middle level of this funnel, this represents the type of content that's a little more niche down than the basic or broad level, but still not fully niche down. These videos should still be very searchable or at least suggestible on YouTube, but you're likely going to get fewer viewers and traffic than the broad level above. Your lead pool from these types of videos is going to be getting warmer and more saturated with your ideal clients, but still not only your ideal clients. An example of a mid-level content video for the money coach we talked about would be like how to still have a social life when you're paying off debt or easy ways to invest in your retirement early or maybe how to build credit the smart way while you're still in debt. For these videos, you're gonna get viewers who are a little warmer leads. They have more mental energy invested into finding a solution to their problem or more awareness that is something that they actually want to address. The videos might not be quite as widely searched as the top level content, but still super suggestible and very clickable for your type of content. And then at the bottom of the funnel, you have the type of content that your ideal clients or your hot leads are definitely going to be the main ones interested in. Depending on your niche and the video topic, these videos could be pretty searchable or not. 
But either way, the content will actually pretty much be narrowing right in on that specific niche audience, where your ideal clients are mainly at, which is why it makes up the narrow part of the funnel. And they're likely only gonna find these videos because they'll find your other more searchable videos and start getting your other videos suggested to them when YouTube can see there's an interest there. This means these videos might get fewer views and velocity, of course, but it doesn't matter because this is where you're going to get the most golden quality leads for your coaching business. This is where the magic actually happens and where your audience can actually go from viewers to clients. So an example of the bottom level content would be how to actually pay off student loans the fast and easy way. Or how to plan for retirement without pulling your hair out. How to plan for retirement without making investments or maybe even keeping an abundant mindset while paying off debt. Whatever it is, this content will be the stuff that your ideal clients are going to be the most drawn to. This is going to help them the most and warm them up to actually working with you the most. So big shots, does this content funnel make sense? Comment down below if you understand this content funnel so far. Now, when you make videos with this content funnel in mind, you can intentionally make videos that appeal to either the more broad top level audience, the mid level audience, or the more niche down bottom level audience where you're actually gonna get clients from. So obviously you wanna get your viewers starting at the top of the funnel and bring them all the way down to the bottom of the funnel so you can eventually turn them into paying clients. And creating those broader top videos, those beginner type videos at the top is really core to actually getting noticed by your ideal client but then to turn them into actual client you need to get them to the bottom of the funnel and get them to see those other videos make sense the tricky part though is really finding the balance between making each type of content so that you can start to get not only the views that help you reach more ideal clients but also the highest quality leads for your business that will actually turn into sales. And I really recommend doing a mixture of the three levels if you can in order to actually make sure that you are getting both that traffic and those quality leads. A mixture is also good because that way new viewers have a chance to see your more specialized content fairly soon so that they're more aware of the depth you have to offer. But when you're first starting out, it's generally a good idea to do a little more of the broad or top level more searchable content in order to get that traffic and velocity factor going on on your channel as soon as possible. If you don't have an audience, this is definitely where I recommend starting at. Just make sure that no matter what kind of videos you're actually making, they're going to be helpful and of interest to your ideal clients first and foremost. However, all of that being said, the number one most important thing that you need to have in place for this strategy to work is to make sure that no matter what type of content it is, all of your videos make three things explicitly clear. One, who your channel is specifically for by calling out your ideal clients. Two, that your work and expertise goes beyond your YouTube videos and you do this professionally. And three, either where to watch more of your similar videos or how to actually get more of the same kind of value from you. Whether it's through a freebie of some kind going deeper in your online community or actually seeking your services directly. This is the most important thing because as I always talk about on this channel, it really does not matter how many views you're actually getting if you're not able to actually convert those viewers into leads and clients. It's the number one thing that's gonna grow your business and it's the number one reason why your coaching business is on YouTube in the first place. So that core message needs to be very clearly embedded into all your content, no matter what level it's at actually at on the content funnel. That way, no matter how or when your ideal clients find you, they'll be automatically moving from cold to hot leads that whole time without you having to do any extra work. And that last step is exactly what I'm going to do at this point so that you can see my own example of that. In order to get the best results from this content funnel strategy I just shared with you, you'll need to use it in tandem with the content recommendations I give in step one from my guide on how to actually turn YouTube viewers into clients. This free guide also gives you the rest of the exact step-by-step -step strategy that's gotten me four leads per day to my coaching business, all from organic YouTube traffic. And it'll work for you too. So if you wanna know what all the steps of the process are and how to do them, be sure to download the free guide before you go right up here, okay? It's right up there, Big Shots. Don't forget that free guide. That's all for now, Big Shots. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.